my lovelies let's start organizing i really want to show you my collection but before we start i really need to just put away some things so i have this basket on top of my drawer which holds my glitter tray like it's stuck in here you can see the glitter tray it also holds some of my like samples from the store and I really have this basket for all of these these are like different colors which I cannot define and I really really want to put them in their own drawer for now I do not have space in my drawer so we really need to make one so what I really want to do is transfer all of this and put it in my rascal cart because I recently sold a lot of my colors I will just bring you there now. So this is the rascal cart. It's currently a little bit dusty. We need to restock all of that and do all of the magic. But recently I have sold a lot of the colors right here as you can see. So I have a lot of empty containers. So what I was thinking, maybe I can put some of the colors right here in a rascal cart just to make my life a little bit easier. And yeah, we need to sort this through. Everything which is expired, we're gonna throw away. We need to fill up some bottles, well, like with alcohol and all of that. And Let's do this drawer first. Like, I'm gonna remove everything and then we're gonna do uh, glitter inside. So we do have this fur background, which I absolutely love. We do have these solid watercolors. I do still need to do a review on these. We have some acrylic paints. We do have some of this, like, this is some kind of silk or something like that. Just the background also. Oh, I love these. I do not know, do, do they still work? I think they do. These are from AliExpress also. I have a review video on these. These are super, super nice. We do have a lot of these paints we have silver and the gold this needs to be shaken up before use we have this here sugar but i don't think this is in a make anymore and i do have all of these tiny tiny little palettes from aliexpress these are super tiny but i love the colors and i never use them but because because they can last a long time. I have the smaller one and I also have this bigger one. I also leave this styrofoam on top. Look at these colors. They're super beautiful. Now we did that, look how beautiful that looks. And this is rubberized, so it's super good. Let me just now transfer all of these into drawer. Okay, this is now done. These are all of the different mixes that I cannot define in which color like, do they fit. Like this is a mix, like Halloween mix. So this has a um, little bit of black, a little bit of like orange and all of that so it's really diff difficult to decide which color they should fit so i'm just gonna put them right here for now and what i was thinking about doing is maybe transfer all of my whites on top because i have a lot of blacks and blues and maybe i can just put them in a top drawer so let's do that now this is now done i still have a little bit of space right here and in here i have a little bit space which is super super nice now we are gonna do this so we're gonna bring all of these little gels in a pot into my drawer just to make this space free i think they all gonna fit there i'm not gonna show you the drawer quite yet because i am saving that for my collection video so now i will just do that okay up in here i have all of my stamping tools like the most used i do not own a lot of the stamping 
things because I do nails only for myself for now and on the bottom of that I have practice tips and all of these little practice display thingies I have a lot of them I have some of this crystal this heart and all of that so this will stay in here I know that for a fact uh, I have these two are also stamping polishes so these are like uh, foil stamping this is rose gold foil and white I need to get myself a clear also I will maybe put that like this it should be totally fine I just need to shake it before I use it in here I have this little dappen dish I'll just put this with the rest of my dappen dishes and on the bottom I have all of these like um, things for chrome I have some sponges and all of that in here this little horsey is a little bit dusty I have this dust brush that I use for chromes and all of that I have some of these uh, swatch sticks and I do have some of these tips that are so so old I do not know what to do with them I do not want to get rid of them because I paid a lot of money for them maybe I will leave them for now but maybe I will throw away them in a future okay so I will put this back where it was like this and on top I have one of this clear bins okay I'll put that on top so we have this big watercolor thing maybe I will put this on the back it fits perfectly I can tell you that I love that okay this is good for now maybe I will try to put these nail forms these are the kinds that I love to get this is from my local nail shop these are the best forms ever maybe I will put them in front if it can fit yeah it fits we also have this watercolor I will put this maybe right here because it fits perfectly I have this bin full of acrylic paints I will just put them inside of this bin on the back because it will fit nicely if I don't use them as often I will just put them in my kids craft station because yeah I do not reach for acrylic paints as often and now when I'm thinking about it maybe I will just move this like this and maybe I will put this big bin on the back maybe I will do this it looks kind of good you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just get rid of all of these acrylic paints because I do not use them and I have plenty so I will just put this where my kids craft supply is because I do not need so many like acrylic paints okay so now this is all done this is plenty for me but I don't use this so this is more than enough Okay, this is now done. I'm gonna put one of these containers on the top of this because it fits and I really need more space to store things. Now it's four stories high, but okay, I'm good with that. I currently have two of these little containers that I'm not using, so I will see if this fits right here. Oh no, it doesn't fit. No. I will try to move this, maybe put it in here. Maybe I need to put this in here like that. Oh, this 
looks super nice look at that but i would be thrilled if this can fit right here and then i can also put my forms oh, this is so frustrating okay so i did decided that i'm gonna put all of my forms right here in this bin on top because it fits maybe i will put this no this doesn't fit okay we will just leave this as it is i have these two beautiful bins that i have on top i will just empty this out these are my extra stampers but i will fill this up one of the containers is gonna be for my for all of these like uh, inserts for gel polishes Okay, this is going on the back and I'm still going to use this other bin. I'm just going to empty out the content of it and in this bin maybe I will put all of these liquid paints just because they are liquid and I want to keep them safe a little bit more. So let's see, do they all fit? I do not know will they fit all in this bin I think they will oh that's super good yes I love it okay oh no maybe the top won't fit oh yes it will okay Whew, it was a close call okay here is one bin we're gonna put it like that and maybe just gonna put these little palettes on top okay here is the final glimpse of what i did to this like uh, tier of my rascal card so in here i have my forms i have my acrylic paints on the bottom i have all of the things for stamping that i use on the bottom are all of the practice tips here are the blower things i have some of the watercolor in um, liquid form i have some of the watercolors right here i have this mixing tool like in this little space and since i have space on the like back of it i did put these brush pens on the back and i did put this glitter tray when i use it and this is for this like tier i absolutely love how uh, everything is looking like everything is like in the reach of a hand like i can use everything and yeah this feels super good let's go on the top of the rice cook cart okay in the first tier of the rice cook cart we don't have much to do because i did refill these bottles off camera I did sanitize all of these bits, I did restock my wipes and all of that and just I want to see which oil that I want to get rid of. So we have this cuticle and nail serum, I love that, that's like a scrub for cuticles. This is a repair oil, I really want to get rid of them because it is so so old. I do not need it so i will just throw this away and this is a cuticle oil that i usually use i love that and this is a cuticle remover eraser which is so so good i love that that's from essence and i want to get rid of this yayogi intense seal i don't think that yayogi exists this was a copy of i think ibd it has similar bottle and all of that i don't know if this is still good yeah actually it is it is still good but i do not reach often for that so i will just get rid of that and then i will put this reflective born pretty on that spot because i have some extra space and all of the other things on here are all good only thing that i still need to do is do my swatch sticks like they are in this basket like just 
on the side but I do not have all of my gels swatched because I did sold a lot of them and yeah I still didn't do swatches on all of my gels and this is it for this little organization make sure to tune in for more bye